Hey guys, welcome to the 34th Autodesk Inventor tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to finish up looking at the coil tool and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to coil something around another object so let's just say you wanted to coil something around this cylinder right here well the first thing that we need to do is just create a sketch plane that goes directly through the center of this circle right here so I'm just going to go over to this origin folder and select the XZ plane and we see that that plane goes directly through the center of our circle so all that I have to do is just right click on this plane and click new sketch so now it just created a new sketch that is perfectly on that plane and goes directly through the center of my circle alright so now basically what I have to do is just draw the axis but before we do that I'm gonna do something called slice graphics and what slice graphics will do is it will basically just remove all the material in between us and the sketch plane so that we don't have to look at any of this right here so I'm just gonna right click and go down to slice graphics alright so now we don't have to look at all that material in between us and our sketch plane alright so like I said the first thing we need to do is just draw the axis and the axis is just going to be a line that goes directly through our cylinder right there so I'm just gonna go up to the line tool and just draw a line that starts on the origin right here and just goes up directly through my cylinder and alright there we go so now I've got my axis and now all I have to do is just draw my profile and if we want this coil to be touching the outside of our cylinder at all times what we have to do is have that profile butt right up against the edge of our cylinder right here and in order for us to be able to do that perfectly we're gonna have to project geometry we're gonna have to project this line right there so I'm just gonna go up to project geometry select that line right there and click it so now we just have that line um, on our sketch plane right there so now I just have to draw the profile touching this line right there so I'm just gonna go up to the rectangle tool and just draw the profile starting at the bottom of my cylinder and just make sure that it is touching that line right there alright so as soon as you have your profile and your axis drawn just go ahead and click finish sketch so now we're ready to go ahead and use that coil tool so just go up to the coil tool right there select your profile if it didn't already select it and then just go ahead and select your axis and you won't be able to see your axis since it's actually inside of um, the cylinder right there but you can just go ahead and move your mouse around and it should highlight like show up in white and then just go ahead and click it alright so now we got a nice preview of what our coil is going to look like so remember if you want to edit your coil you can just go over to the coil size tab and just mess around with it um, my cylinder is exactly one inch tall so that's how tall I'm going to make my coil and I'm gonna have five revolutions inside that one inch alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK and look at that um, coil and we see that that coil does in fact go perfectly around our cylinder the only problem is um, right here it goes above the cylinder and that's because it measures the height in between this point right there and this point right there so in between the bottoms so what we're gonna have to do is account for the height of this rectangle right here or our profile so what we're gonna have to do is go back into that sketch that we created and edit it so basically what we're gonna be doing right here is dimensioning this to be a perfect size so I'm just gonna go over here dimension it and see what size this is well right now we see that it's approximately 42 thousandths of an inch tall and I'm gonna go ahead and make that five hundredths of an inch just to make it a round number and then once you have your size all chosen just go ahead and click the green triangle right there so now we see that the height of our profile is exactly five hundredths of an inch so now we can finish our sketch go back into that coil tool right there edit that feature that we created so edit our coil and we're gonna have to account for the height of our profile so since it's five hundredths of an inch we're just gonna have to subtract that five hundredths of an inch from this one inch right here so instead of it being exactly one inch it's going to be point nine five inches alright so we just subtracted a five hundredths of an inch away from that one inch right there which is the height of our profile so now I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK and we see that now our coil does in fact stop directly at the top of our um, cylinder right there yep it matches it perfectly alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys